Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll show you how to send payment request and find you to a client. And the best part is your client can pay the amount using his debit or credit card or bank. The client doesn't require to have a free new account for that. So if you are working outside Fiverr or Fark or any other marketplace and you want to receive payments from international clients or national clients in your free new account, you can do it easily by following these steps. So the first thing is just log into your free account and then go to get paid. And if you are visiting this page for the first time, you will need to submit your ID card and also your business. I already have submitted those, so I am seeing these. And once you submit those proofs, you will see these tabs, request payment, batch payment and receive accounts. Now this method is very simple, where you can share your bank details with your client and they can pay you with those details. If I click here, then if I select a bank account, I will have to share these details with my client and then they can pay me with these details. But this is a very lengthy process for a client and they usually don't have much time. So let's reduce their efforts and let's send them a simple solution or a payment link. Let's go back to get paid page and here we can send them a payment request where they can pay using his debit card, credit card or any bank. If you have multiple clients you can use this feature which is batch payment request to multiple fares. Okay? For now let's try the simple one because we only have one client. I'll click on it and here you will see your most recent fares. If you don't have most recent, you will see only an email or name field, okay? Let's add a new one. And then if you are sending this invoice to a company, you can write the company name, the website URL, the contact first name, last name, and email. And if you are sending this to an individual client, you can select this one. I'll go with individual and then I'll write his name, his last name, then his email, and then select the client's country. I'll choose Netherlands. And then go to next step where you can add the payment details this is the amount so how much they have to pay you just write the amount here and write 500 and then choose your currency euro usd or gb fee so i'll use euro and here you can write the payment details so i'll write something like this and this is the payment due date so here you can select the due date for the payment okay and select this date just one week time okay and here you can select your username or your name then go to next step and then you will have to attach an invoice that could be in pdf doc or docs format okay i already have one but if you want to create a new invoice for free just click on create a professional invoice and this will take you to this page here you can see you can create this type of invoice here you can display your logo your details then a client detail this is the invoice number invoice date then you can list your items here and then the invoice summary so if you want to create something like this, just click on create free invoice and here you can create a free account. I'll continue as a guest and here you can create the invoice. So to upload your logo here, just click on it and add your logo like this. And this is the invoice. You can change this to these, a bill, a receipt, purchase order or something. And this is the invoice number, the issue date, the due date that you can change to that specific date. Okay. Then here you can write your name, your company name, first name, last name, address and so on. And here you can write the client's details and you can add invoice items, okay? Just like this. So this will be item 1, quantity and unit price and no text and this is the subtotal and so on, okay? And then you can write the description, you can add more items if you want to and this will be the summary and you can change the currency here to euro and that's it you can write invoice terms if you want to and then just click on download pdf and you will be able to download this this is required because i haven't filled this info if you don't have an invoice you can create an invoice you can download it for free and then you can use it okay i already have one let me show you so this is the invoice i have and i will upload it and will use it okay so let's go back to final i'll click on it we'll choose my invoice and that's it we have uploaded the invoice now we can preview it this is how it will look and uh, i'm requesting this much amount this is the description the due date and so on and the client will just have to click on pay now they can use his credit debit card bank transfer or final year balance and so on and you can see these options are available for payments and let's close it and just click on request payment and the payment request sent now it will send the client an email the email that we provided okay and we can also copy this link and we can send it to the client via WhatsApp or any other platform. This was very simple. And you will also get a confirmation email from Finear, your payment request sent to this person. And this was how you can send a payment request using Finear to a client or a company. 
and in the next video we will be covering paypal invoice i will show you how we can send a paypal invoice to a client or a company where they can pay online so stay tuned for that video and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next